hello and welcome to another video of this array so in this video we'll be deleting the budget entries uh, using swipe functionality in recycler view and to make swipe functionality we need to create item touch helper callback in our reports fragment file but let's first create functions to delete the uh, entry in the from the budget table uh, so go to budget DAO and let's create a function and and this function uh, will be a suspend function suspend function delete entry and we'll just pass budget of type budget and uh, yeah that's it and we need to annotate this as at delete that's done now we can close budget DAO uh, actually we'll close everything except this report fragment and go to budget repository we will create a function here so suspend function delete entry budget of type budget equals to uh, budget DAO dot delete entry and pass this budget this is pretty sh uh, straightforward and uh, now we can close this as well go to budget view model uh, let's create a function delete uh, entry budget of type budget equals to view model scope dot launch budget repository dot uh, delete entry and just pass this budget now the main thing is to create a uh, item touch helper callback so we'll do that in uh, the reports fragment so after we initialize the recycle view let me just make uh, some room for the code uh, yeah so uh, in here we'll have a variable um, so let's take a variable we'll name it item touch helper callback equals to object item touch helper dot simple callback and in the constructor we'll first have uh, directions uh, so item touch helper dot up r item touch helper dot down so this is to move the uh, items of the recycler view upwards and downwards and then we'll have item touch uh, helper dot left or item touch helper dot right so this is to swipe into direction either to left or to right so that's it and now we need to uh, overwrite two methods one is on move and other is on swiped so we are not dealing with on move so we can directly return sorry where am i writing so we can directly write return true here and we don't need to deal with uh, that method but uh, on swipe is the method well where we'll be writing our code to delete so we need to have a position first of all so uh, well position equals to we have a view holder so we'll use that view holder to get the adapter position now we can get a budget item uh, so budget equals to reports adapter dot differ dot current list and we'll just pass this position so we have a budget item of the current list at a particular position uh, now uh, we can use budget view model dot delete entry and we can pass this budget and uh, what we can do we can set up a snack bar this will be, uh, basically aid for deleting the entry but what I want to do I want to uh, show the uh, snack bar to the user and I want to give the user to reinsert the budget entry in the data set uh, so for that we can write snack bar dot make uh, we can pass view item deleted 
snackbar dot length long dot apply and here we can set action and we'll just write undo and uh, we'll write budget view model dot insert budget and we'll pass this budget straight away and what this will do is uh, just uh, reinsert the uh, entered budget before and we need to do that before stack bar disappears right and yeah don't forget to uh, write this uh, show method uh, after this set action so yeah that's it uh, for this and here uh, after this item touch helper uh, we need to write item touch helper and we can write item touch helper callback dot apply and we can have attached to recycler view and we can pass our recycler view through binding dot uh, rcv reports and that's it we don't need to do anything else and now we can run the application to see if the item is getting deleted from the recycler view or not okay so application is launched now go to see reports and um, now try to swipe uh, as and, and as you can see we can we are now able to uh, swipe the item of the list uh, either to left or to right so we can uh, move this item to either direction and it will be deleted from the recycler view and we can press undo oh oops uh, that gone too quick anyway let's try to another item and let's try to press undo and it will appear back into into the list so yeah the functionality of deleting and re-entering the uh, budget entry is working so yeah that's it for this video if you like this video give a like and subscribe to the channel uh, and press the bell notification so you get the notification every time um, when i post a new video so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video